This is Eric here with uh, Covenant of Love, and boy, oh boy, are we getting into troubled waters. The conversation I'm going to have with you today, uh, friends and enemies, is is one that is, it's a scary, scary thing to approach, because everybody wants to label everybody as a racist. So what I would like to do is kind of, before I get into what I'm going to say, I'd like to explain kind of who I am and, and how uh, people see me and how what I do reflects within the conversations that I have. <clears throat> There's a lot of men that I talk to that are black Muslims. Um, you know, some are from Farrakhan's lot, some are not with Farrakhan. But I've had conversations, you know, I, I buy the magazines from Farrakhan's uh, people, you know, they dress well, I love their bow ties, love the suits. Uh, they always trip out because I, you know, I hand them a big thing of cash and, and beg for a newspaper and I have odd conversations with them. Uh, the people that I talk to that are affiliated with them that I actually am on a friendly relationship with uh, see me as somebody that is pure of heart, that is kind and loving, and uh, just just basically uh, trying to find that which is unknowable and unnameable, which is God. Or I don't even like to use the word God anymore. I, the more I look at language, the more I don't want to use it. Um, I just want to be in something that is beyond and above this humanity in certain cases because... Uh, there's so many connotations that are used and manipulated. Uh, there's so many sick individuals that try to find any, you know, it's almost like that Indian picture. Guy's got all the hooks in his body, you know, and he's, I'm not into all that stuff. So, <clears throat> so the black Muslims, they talked to me, you know, uh, Moses was black and he, he, you know, he found them, these, these white men up in the ice age, you know, he found all these guys up in the snow. Uh, they were in caves. Uh, these white people were eating raw meat. And uh, they were animals. And Moses educated them. Uh, anyway, that's that's what they tell me. And then I have um, individuals that, that are positive that Jesus is black. So I, I went on Google right now and I tried to find, you know, you know, uh, you know, obviously the, the world, the elites know what to guard. So basically when I find, when I go and research things and I find opposition, I change how I word things and I, and I, I keep going round and round and round because, you know, I, I had a very, very, one of my ex-girlfriends was super intelligent and uh, she would, she could reword a conversation for hours. For hours and hours and hours, she, she, she could actually reword things and um, make it sound different, even though it was actually the same thing that she was trying to get at. Uh, it's a lesson learned. It's a lesson that uh, um, I deserved. But uh, you know, I just talked about, you know, one of the people asked me why I was saying Chinese were 90% black. Um, that was a particular video that I looked at, and at the time when it came out, I also looked at something else that actually came up with scientific stuff. It, it, this this stuff is so flowing, it's so fast that uh, uh, I don't know how to copy videos. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. I'm not computer literate. I'm I'm very um, self-taught. I'm just out there trying to to you know do the best I can. Anybody wants to start helping me learn how to you know, work through all this stuff, I promise you that I will work harder and and prove more. But at this time, I, I am average and limited as far as uh, this, this, this genre that we're in. It's just me. So I misquote and I, there's things that I say that are wrong, but uh, <clears throat> If you assume that, that all of Israel was completely black, I mean, what happened all of a sudden within a thousand years? I mean, there's certain things that we're talking about that are absolutely impossible, 
okay, in a thousand years, if we look at evolution, there's no way that the black man turned into an Iranian in a thousand years, even 2,000 years. We, we uh, you know, if we believe in evolution, we should already have these giant, giant heads. Uh, we don't even need our bodies because it's all brain work. I mean, we can go into a lot of different kinds of things, but what we're here today and what we're talking about is kind of the insanity of saying that you're the pure race. Everybody wants to hold on to that coveted, uh, you know, what I believe has been put out by the individuals that want the negative side of us, and that's that somebody has to be better. You know, in teamwork, somebody's got to win. There's always got to be a winner. The winners in this world work hard. Don't care about what color you are. Don't care about what race you are. Don't care about what religion you are. They're just good people. And the ones that aren't are the ones that really excel. And we can see them as well. But but the good people survive. The problem is now it's getting to the breaking point because there's so many of us that they're these elite are fearful. But stop grasping at straws. Okay? There's no positive proof. I mean, you guys, you know, Pastor Dow. His name's not even Jesus. And, uh, you know, you told uh, David to shut up. You told him to shut up. And uh, I don't want to go into details, but uh, I've looked at who your mentor, you know, mentors are. And uh, Pastor Dow, you know, I don't, I, you know, I don't even need to look at the video of my past. Okay, you're still looking at the King James Version. And I've already told you it's not a version. I mean, excuse me. It's, it's not a single edition. It, it is a many version book. And, uh, you know, for, for you, you know, I'd like to get in there, bam, just start insulting everybody and do this. But this is a really touchy subject, man. We're talking about people's races, the actual color they are. And we know in America, I mean, you, uh, slavery. And, you know, you have the, the black Israelites that talk about, there's a, some quotes about the ships. Uh, you know, I used to think forever in a day that uh, Job was Asian, but somebody pointed out that there was like the Asian sect of the Middle East. And I've gone through these, all these different things and I'm, I'm continually learning. But uh, if I was to say the color of Jesus, he'd, he'd be from the tribe of Judah or I mean, what, 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 what tribe are we talking about? What tribe are we talking about? Because a lot of you guys went into the desert, whoever you are. And uh, some guy came out one day and said, I have a book where I named everybody. You, you're so meticulous within the paperwork, but all of a sudden, uh, these, these gentlemen that are Christian, that really, if you, if, you, if you knew anything, you would have kept the books and you'd still be Hebrew. You'd still be, I don't want to use the word Jewish. You'd, you'd still be Hebrew with God. King David killed little kids, man. Chop their head clean off, man. No problem. Uh, there's a guy here, Bootlegger South. Awesome sight. I don't agree with everything that he says, obviously, but uh, he makes some really concrete points. And, and that's what this is about. We're, we're critiquing ourselves and we're, we're, we're sh iron sharpening iron. We're, we're really doing it. We're not those hypocritical, know-it-all Christians. <clears throat> King James Version of the Bible, okay, for all you Saturn worshipers, for all you Saturnellus studying mofos, 1611 is 16 and 11, which is 27. The 27 boxes times the points makes Pythagorean's magic number. We are in a matrix, a matrix conceived and deceived for the people. <clears throat> it's kind of a muddy, ugly video. I just, I just, I'm tired of the stupidity. Uh, I can't actually scientifically break down the color barrier within this, this controversy without seeming racist. And then that's something that I don't want to do, but 
anybody that looks at the Pharaoh show, the Pharaoh show, a uh, gentleman out of Denmark, he's uh, one of my featured videos, or excuse me, featured uh, channels. Uh, he goes around and shows you what what Hebrew, you know, this this great exodus. He shows you that they're one. He goes to the cemeteries. He goes to the Hebrew cemeteries that have the obelisks. Probably don't mean shit to you, right? You just go back in that King James Version and study. I'm going to... You know, I'm going to set these boys up right. You know, they got a good book there. That King James Version, you get the strong accordance and you get the concordance. How about you get a really old concordance? Really old. Okay? Suckers are like yay fat. Rapture. They're going to tell you it came from some chick uh, in Scotland who had a dream. Okay? We, we, we keep trying to be prophetic when we really should be scriptural. Scriptural, blah, blah, blah. It's a joke, man. It really is. The amount of stuff we just buy into is sickening. Thank you. Have a good day. This is coming along.